Okay, I started doing a little bit of editing and got a little bit carried away. So I will just go over a little bit what I performed. So right now it will run through our exchange and we're going to just focus on Ethereum to BTC, BNB to Ethereum and BNB to BTC. And that's because the Binance coin has less of a fee so more profitability for our arbitrage trades and what I did I'm gonna add it I formatted our arbitrage to be arbitrage bin so what I'm gonna do is let's just run this and it'll show you that it prints out to the screen our welcome message and then pri our prices and our tickers for all of our symbols so it, it's a lot of information that it just did but for example you can see here AGI, BNB, bid quantity, ask quantity, bid price, ask price. So very helpful um, to have this information. And the next thing to do that I'm doing is I'm just going through our arbitrage Binance. And I made a few modifications. For example, it accepts a list of symbols, which is our Ethereum, our currently triangular pair or triangle, whatever, and our tickers. So it's going to it's going to follow the functionality that we did previously um, just with a, a few different changes so with that said symbols equals tickers dot keys I think because this is a dict where the AGI EF will be the AGI EF is our key in our dictionary. So let's just see. Uh, and then we want to sleep because I want to, I like to check this. So right now it's going to print out all the tickers and everything. Oops. And I'm going to call the arbitrage Binance function and let's see if it prints out all of our tickers as symbols. Uh, symbols are currency pairs so let's see okay yeah for some reason that didn't work so I'm gonna have to look into this a little bit more could be because a few different reasons but I will mess around with that a little bit more for right now that's actually uh, not that important so we're just gonna edit this part out and this was more this part was more to catch exchanges that weren't working properly with the CCXT functionality because that one has a lot of exchanges but not all of them work so we're going to delete these ones uh, because there's actually not really any reason to have these ones now eventually we're going to want to have a this functionality will find pairs to trade so we do want to keep these ones um, but for right now I'm just going to edit this out because we already know the pairs that we're going to trade so we'll go all the way down to here so this one we want to print our list of arbitrage symbols so that's our list of symbols that we send to the function so this should print out so let's run this and oh, here we go a few changes we're gonna have to make throughout this but that's fine now there's something we can do because I think the indents is all messed up so we'll just do if one and that'll give us a nice indent because that's always true so let's see we get our welcome message and what we should get is a list of arbitrage symbols output and we know at least we get to this part without having an error in our functionality right now it's a, actually I think it's caught on the time sleep 20 it is so I will run this again without the time sleep 20 and I will see you on the next video